just like the 10 times this is the the new entry level set of binoculars from Hawk just go through the specifications well first of all the price is around about 129 pounds and you have a field of, field of view of 122 meters at a thousand a close focus of two and a half meters quoted but I've just had a, a play with these and I say that's nearer to one and a half meters that is excellent news if you like looking at your bugs and butterflies very good eye relief 18 millimeters no problem at all with spectacles and the all-important weight due to the polycarbonate body only 555 grams which is ridiculous light for a set of 8 times 42 and they balance delightfully in the hands uh, which uh, one customer that recently bought from us confirmed said excellent handling so polycarbonate body said it before I'll say it again don't let that, don't let that put you off there are many many excellent polycarbonate uh, bodied binoculars out there such as the Helios Nitro Sport and the Olivon PC3 to name a couple out of many so do not be put off that by that these are extremely well built just like the 10 times version the eye cups it's one one two three clicks out and they stay firmly in position just do that again just a little bit of give there on the second one that one stays nicely in place, but yeah, but for a budget set, £129, that, that is better than most. Uh, for, for example, even the, um, I mentioned before, the Celestron Nature DXED, you know, they probably feel a lot better quality eye cups of those, although the Nature Trek, the, um, sorry, the Celestrons are optically far superior to these. So, Talking of the optics, remember these are £129 set, so they are not going to give the clarity of your, your 200 your £250 sets like the Hawk Endurance ED, the Viking Kestrels, etc., even the Hulkinson Nature Line. They're not in that league, but they're around half the price. And with these, when you look through them, the, the, the image, I, I just had a quick comparison with the uh, visionary field tracker 8x42 and the very very similar binoculars the, I'll say the field trackers give a little bit less chromatic aberration but these have the all important handling and these are one of the nicest handling binoculars you can have and uh, you can buy and that is a deal breaker for many many people and uh, when people come to our optics weekends they always want a set that are lightweight and easy to handle. The, the amount of times people come up to me and ask them questions, what have you got that's lightweight, easy to handle, easy to hold? That is often more important than the optics. So, looking through these. In this price range, very, very good sharpness and contrast. Uh, a little bit of pincushion distortion and fall off in quality in the outer 10-15% or so. But again, within this price range you can't really argue with that uh, with the 8 times 42 version probably even better than the 10 times very good in low light because I've just been looking at the shadows but into the shadows in the bottom of the garden and you could pick out a lot of detail with these often with budget binoculars they cut, you know, not cut corners but they don't put as Many, uh, you know, you look at the eyepieces and they'll be quite narrow, but these have got a lot of glass in them. And again, just adding to the ease of use, that makes them very, very easy to line up with the eyes, the, whether you're using spectacles or not. That there is evident chromatic aberration with these binoculars. Uh, throughout the range, even in the centre, and even on low contrast subjects, but it's by no means at all enough to put you off again just repeating the price these are 129 pounds and in as you know with everything in life at the moment going up in price you can still get quality binoculars like this with the uh, multi-coated optics BAK4 prisms and nitrogen gas filled all for 129 with a lifetime warranty so that puts them in a similar sort of price range to the the visionary field trackers and the Viking Azoras and um, although probably by the time you've watched this video the Vikings may have gone up a little bit but that that's to be confirmed 
but yeah overall better than expected for 129 pounds i would say uh, against the the um, current crop from from other brands very impressed uh, with the build quality d despite the lightweight which might think you know they're cutting corners they are most certainly not very very easy to handle lovely optics four binoculars in this price range i will i will uh, add and uh, yeah if, uh, they've already been very popular at our, at our optics weekends so by all means you're very welcome to come along and, and try a set or purchase through our website and the link will be in the description below so I hope that helps uh, a quick look at the Hawk Vantage 8x42 binoculars thank you very much for watching as always and we'll see you next time